water hyacinth, algae, milfoil. It's noxious weed that's been plaguing the San Joaquin Delta for years. It gets stuck up in boat motors and kills native plants. The blooms aren't as bad this year, but the state, the federal government, and the county has spent millions trying to get rid of this stuff. But there's an inventor out of Modesto who believes he has a bright idea. He's blasting this stuff with UV light, and he's testing it on the shores of Lake Tahoe. It's cleanup time at Lakeside Marina. And Joel Baker's tool of choice is a net. They like to build up along the wall. The mess is getting bigger. You know, if we didn't do anything about it, it would completely choke off the marina. Milfoil. It's one of the many invasive weeds that's turning the clear waters of Lake Tahoe murky and getting caught up in boat motors. But the more it builds up and the more it gets picked up in the motors, it can be spread around the lake as well. Getting rid of this weed is a daily chore for Joel. But this guy wants to replace Joel's net with a light bulb. It's built with a number of lights. We have it on 12 different circuits. Meet John Peluccio, owner of Inventive Resources and pioneer of the light bulb weed killer. So you're telling me these light bulbs are gonna kill the plants? Uh, they do. Huh. These are not just any lights, they're UVC lights. They're known to be able to kill one cell organisms. Plants are built up of thousands of one cell organisms. UVC light is not new technology. Water treatment plants have been using the light for decades to treat drinking water. John is just using it to kill weeds. Basically skinning it or doing a lethal sunburn. The process is simple. Drop the lights from a boat and drag it across the weeds. Just within a few minutes of treatment, we're able to treat the plants and cause them to drop. The proof is in the picture. This is a treated and non-treated area. It's pretty surprising, but John first learned about the power of UVC lights after he graduated from college. I was able to treat a cave wall that had a lot of algae growing on it. John played with the idea for a long time. Eventually, the Modesto inventor started testing those lights, and that's when nonprofit group Tahoe Fund caught wind of his work. Yeah, we, there are no herbicides in Lake Tahoe. They're not allowed. Tahoe Fund already has a few weed abatement projects in the work, but John's UVC light system intrigued them because it doesn't use chemicals to kill the plants. We're always looking for what's the next thing we can do, what's the next technique we can use. This private public venture helped John lock down the funding necessary to build this high watt weed killing boat. I hope the scientific community takes a look at this and says, you know, realizes that there are more options out there. Well, the light blasting boat still has a lot of testing to complete before it can move elsewhere, but John says he's already spoken to San Joaquin County officials to see if he can move his boat down to the Stockton area, and maybe someday light will be able to help manage these weeds. John Bartell, ABC 10 News.